Yo, what's up guys? Miller's Magic, and today, I have never done anything like this, but I'm so... I saw this, right? I was on Siege, and I was like, what the fuck is this Operation Grim Sky? And... It just right off the bat, it looks like there's a new shield operator, guys. And I don't know what to think about this. And it looks like there's like a dude with like a fucking torch or something? I think? Said something. About a torch and a, a new shield. A new shield. That's what I'm so psyched about is a new shield. Now, why? I don't know why I'm psyched because I hate shield operators. But I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of intrigued because it's like, what what is this gonna be? Like, they already have someone with Flash. What is it gonna be? Is it like an Ella mine sort of thing on the Flash fucking shield or what? But one thing that Ubisoft, which I thought they should have done before they introduced a new shield operator, is fix the knife mechanics. And they've never fixed any of the knife mechanics or anything like that because I'll go and knife a shield, and then all of a sudden they're. Their little armor's gonna go, whoom, off to the side, right, with their shield, and then I get knifed. And I feel like they should have fixed that before they brought in a new shield operator. And this torch operator, I don't know what to think about this guy, because this shield operator is probably gonna be for attack, right? Why would they have a defensive fucking shield? It's stupid. But I don't know, I don't know what to think about this. Plays an attack and roll as a sharp mind among the Rainbow Six team. And, uh, fuck, I don't know what the fuck is that. Fuck that shit. Anyways, let's pause. Ugh, come on, get the fuck out of your ad. God damn it. Anyways, they're bringing back Hereford Base. At least a remastered fucking thingy of Hereford Base. And, sharp minded, teaser image, a new blowtorch gadget, which previously leaked through data mining. A new hard breacher on the horizon, which is likely this operator. So, if they're going to bring in a new hard breacher with a flamethrower, what's the point of using bandit or mute? Because more than likely, this isn't going to be like, you you put the fucking napalm or whatever it could be, because you're not going to just straight fucking like, what, anyways, whatever it could be, Napalm's more for, like, people I know, yada, yada, yada. Shut the fuck up about that in the comments. Anyways, but I don't know what to think about this because there's no point for Bandit or Mute anymore if they have a, she a flamethrower operator that can just take care of reinforced walls. So, if that is true, that flamethrower is the attacker, so there's a shield on defense, that means. But what can this shield mean what what ability does it have what does it have what could it have i see there's like it kind of like a bright luminescence like a right around the police so i'm not sure what to think about that it, i was thinking something with like electricity that's the first thing that came into my mind is electricity as you can see in the reflection as well so I'm not sure what to think about it. Electricity, so is it like a twitch, but on the front of the shield? Or is it like more of a maestro on the front of his shield? Which, that would be extremely cool, but I feel like that could be kind of overpowered. If you're, you know, you're going against a guy, you hit him a couple times with your pistol or whatever, and then you just zap, 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 and then they're fucking dead, you know? I'm not sure That's what to think to about that. What the f- He's in game chat. Um, I'm gonna be 2v2ing two some fans on Siege. But, I'm not sure what to think about it. May these are both, like, insane operators. It looks like this is kind of transparent as well. So, I don't know what the idea with that is. But, the only thing I can really think of that's kind of unique, that's not like an Echo or an Ella, but we don't really have much, is, like, a Twitch. Because- Twitch is like its own thing. There's nothing really similar, to, well, too similar to Twitch. And this operator could be a cool little. Just All right, I'm gonna about to close this fucking game chat. But I am not too sure what to think about it because that that would be really cool as like a shield operator, especially a defensive shield operator. Because they were talking about 
a new hard breacher, this isn't going to be a hard breacher. It's obviously going to be the dude with a flamethrower. And there's been a lot of speculation around the community with, like, a flamethrower operator. And this defensive shield kind of just mind boggles me because why would they have another shield in the first place? Because shields are kind of broken right now. And especially on defense, which I understand, like, bringing in a defensive shield to kind of even it out because there's, like, shields on attack, nothing on defense. But the way... Like, this guy's kind of standing up pretty high as well for this shield, because, I mean, normal shields, you're, a, a, it's about waist high. It's about waist high. This is, like, a bigger shield as well. So, that's also something, because, like, normal shields are, like, this height, maybe a little taller. So, it's maybe about that line right there, but it's, like, a little extension on this. So, it's, like, halfway between Monty and, like, Blitz or a Fuse shield, you know? So... Is this another speculation that's been going in the community is like, can you place down a mobile shield? Could this be a mobile shield for defense or something like that? That's about head height or so, or what, what could it mean? What I think it is, is maybe something cause like this blue electricity stuff really, really intrigues me. Cause it's nothing like around here. Am I interrupting and you guys? The <sighs> Sorry if I do that. Okay. I can leave if you. Okay. And there we go mind-boggling because it's like it's precisely in between here it's not going to be like electricity through the lightning or something or the clouds because it'd be like around everything right and i have re i that's why i think it could be a twitch shield defensive thingy not too sure yet but i feel that's what i think and i mean this guy is obviously just like a flamethrower obviously it's like a flamethrower thing which i'm not sure how that's gonna work because it, it would make Bandit and Mute obsolete, because there's no way to protect that reinforced wall. But, what could this guy do? I think he's just like a defensive shield operator, but at the same time, would he be like a 3-speed or like a 3-armor? Because if it was a 3-speed shield, I'd be way overpowered. But what, what, what operator could do this? Would he just sit in the room in a corner the whole time? You know? You know, bandits kind of like covering the walls or something like that, you know, bandit tricking and stuff like that, making sure the walls stayed, you know, but I, I don't, I don't really know about this operator. It's really, really kind of, it's really intriguing for the first part because it's a defensive shield operator, at least what I'm thinking. And it, it looks like there's like a Twitch Maestro aspect to it as well, because that would be really unique. And I think that could be relatively fair if it only does, like, 10, 5 damage or so. And depends on how fast the recharge rate and how much you can shoot out of it. But I'm not too sure what to think about it. And it could be just a completely useless operator. Because if it's, like, a Twitch gadget on the front, you pretty much take a little Twitch and mount it on top of a fuse shield. You know, that's going to be pretty useless. But it's also on defense, so it's really going to change up the meta, in my opinion. And with this flamethrower dude, that's gonna be pretty... I don't know what to think about that. Because if he just cuts straight through, like, reinforced walls, what's the point of ever bringing a Habana or Thermite anymore? They're gonna become obsolete. Or same with hatches and stuff like that. So, I'm not too sure what to think about that guy. I'm not too sure what to think about either one of these. But just by basing off of, like, the reflections and everything like that, this could potentially be like a bigger just a normally like a bigger shield or something like that or i don't i don't know there's a few ideas i have in my mind but the one that really sticks out with me is like something with electricity because of the blue luminescence around it and stuff like that so that leads me to believe it's something with twitch and like twitch maestro sort of thing and especially a shield and it's probably going to be on defense saying them you know, saying that they want a new, like, hard breacher. So that would more likely be this guy. Because he'd be, a, like, a relatively good attacking operator. I feel like this guy, if, they, if he just gets through straight reinforced walls, he's going to be, become way too overpowered. There's going to be no use for a Thermite or a Habana anymore. But there's no way to get rid of this guy. But I don't know what to think about this guy. This guy might be even underpowered. Just thinking if it's only like a five shot for a twitch drone and you're a shield. 
So I'm not too sure what to think about this guy, but I just saw this. So I thought I should let you guys know because I haven't done one of these videos before. And I just thought it'd be something cool. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And that's all I got to say. And peace out. Tell also, also before I leave, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Because I want to hear your guys' responses. I want to see what you guys think about this as well. So anyways, peace out.